Hey, it's Chris. On this week's episode, the Astros are world champions as they beat the Phillies in six games. And I wouldn't vote in the U.S. midterm elections. The polling place is next door, so I walked over there. You're listening to The Chris Carlisle Show, hosted by me, Chris Carlisle. At the University of Mary Arn Baylor has won the Marine Corps Leadership Award. Thomas Henderson, a sophomore from Keller in the spring of last year, was chosen for the Platoon Leaders Class Program, an undergraduate program while allowing full time college students to pursue a commission in the Marines without interrupting the school year. He also went to Officer Candidate School for the last two summers in Quantico, Virginia, and distinguished himself and finished first over 223 others from Lima Company and was picked as their honor graduate. He was recognized during a pregame ceremony last month at Crusader Stadium by Marine Corps representatives for that success when they presented him with the Commandant Trophy. Tumble got .94 inches of rain on Monday, but Bell County's two reservoirs still got low water levels. Both have dropped more than 10 feet as the drought lingers. The Texas Department of Housing and Community Affairs is taking applications online for the Texas Utility Help Program to provide energy bill help. Applicants must meet the following guidelines to meet program criteria. The household income must be below 150% of the federal poverty income guidelines. At least one occupant must be a U.S. citizen or qualified alien. As well as energy bills, applicants can ask for help for water and wastewater bills on the same online application. They are having the Scottish Gathering and Highland Games in Slato this weekend. Okay, this year's event has music, genealogy workshops, and Scottish Highland Games, and will take place on the grounds of Thomas Arnold Elementary School at 575 Slato School Road in Slato. The weekend starts on Friday evening with the calling of the clans at 6 on Slato Creekside north of the museum building. Following the calling of the clans, there will be a welcome social and buffet supper for $20 at the Lucille A. Robertson Center at the museum. The festivities will continue from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Saturday and from 9 to 3 on Sunday. The opening ceremony starts at noon Saturday with the band and clan parade from South Main and Thomas Arnold into the grounds, followed by presentations and piping on the field. Next, to recap of the Astros World Series wing and Central Texas High School of and Texas College Football Action.
The Astros opened the World Series on Friday, October 28th by hosting the National League champion Philadelphia Phillies at Minute Maid Park. It was a rematch of the 1980 NLCS won by the Phillies in five games, which I talked about in a previous episode. The Phillies beat the Astros and ace pitcher Justin Verlander 6-5 to to take a one-game lead. The Astros bounced back to win game two, winning by a score of 5-2 to to tie the series at two games apiece. Game 2 was on my birthday, by the way. The series shifted to Philadelphia for games 3, 4, and 5, but game 3 was postponed due to rain. The Phillies won game 3 by a score of 7 to nothing to take a 2-1 series lead. But the Astros came back the next night as Christian Javier and relief pitchers Brian Abreu, Rafael Montero, and Ryan Presley pitched a combined no-hitter silence a dreaming lineup and boisterous ballpark as the Astros shut out the Phillies 5-0 to tie the series two games apiece. It was the second no-hitter in the World Series. Pitcher Don Larson pitched a perfect game in the 1956 World Series for the New York Yankees against the Brooklyn Dodgers. Javier was also in a combined no-hitter in June against the Yankees. Alex Bregman had a two-run double in, the fi- in a five-run fifth inning. I got to watch that game, by the way. The Astros took the series lead three games to two by winning game... 5-3-2 to, to give pitcher Justin Verlander the first win in the World Series in his stellar career. In Game 6, Jordan Alvarez had a towering go-ahead home run to clinch the second World Championship for the Astros, who won Game 6 of the World Series by a score of 4-1. to As the 450-foot blast disappeared in the sixth inning, starting pitcher Framber Valdez jumped and screamed in the dugout, and the fans went into a frenzy. Manager Dusty Baker got his first title as a manager in his third season with the Astros and 25th as a manager overall. He is the oldest manager to win a championship at age 73. In Central Texas high school football, Madisonville beat Salado by a score of 30-14. to Cameron Yo beat Troy 35-14. to Bocktail beat McGregor 46-38. Rogers beat Elkhart 63-14. to Latonia beat Holland 49 to 17. Ranger beat Bartlett 45 to 12. Lago Vista beat Gerald 48 to 8. Crawford beat Bruce Valetti 51 to nothing. Oglesby beat Oglesby beat Buffalo 66 to 6. Ellisville beat uh, Central Texas Christian School 23 to 21. And Marble, Fa- Marble Falls Faith beat Holy Trinity 119 to 70. Wow! In college football. Number seven, Texans, Texas Christians first year uh, head coach Sonny Dykes has the view that Max Duggan and the Horn Falls have earned to play with a perf- the perfect record that has made them playoff contenders. Darius Davis returned a punt, 42 yards for a touchdown, and Kendry Miller ran for the uh, go-ahead score early in the fourth quarter as the Horn Falls beat Texas Tech 34 to 24. The Horn Falls were nine and nothing for the first time since 2010. A 13 0 season, which ended with the Rose Bowl win and a number two national ranking. Greg Squirrel Williams ran 492 yards, which is a career high for him, and two touchdowns as Baylor beat Oklahoma 38 35 in Norman. Southern Methodist beat Houston 77 63. Rice beat UTEP 37 30. Texas beat Kansas State 34 27. Florida beat Texas AM 41 24. Football fans of the game between Mary Arn Baylor and Howard Payne at Gordonwood Stadium in Brownwood fell but of everything on Saturday. There was an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty on the UHB band for playing while the ball was snapped, a two-point conversion in the final minute, and the momentum-changing uh, turnovers as uh, number three UH- UHB won by a score of 27-24. to In the NFL, the Houston Texans lost to the uh, Philadelphia Eagles, 29 to 17 on Thursday night football. Same night the Astros beat the Philadelphia Phillies. WWE went to Saudi Arabia for its uh, crown jewel event on Saturday. Here's the results: Roman Reigns beat Logan Paul to retain the undisputed WWE Universal Title. Bianca Belair beat Bailey in a last woman standing match to retain the War Women's Title. The Usos beat the Brawling Brutes to retain the Tag Team Titles. Dakota Kai and Io, Io Sky. He likes the Bliss and Oscar to win the women's tag team titles. The Judgment Day beat the OC. Brock Lesnar beat Bobby Lashley. 
Drew McIntyre beat Karrion Cross in a steel cage match. Braun Strowman beat almost. And the night before on SmackDown, LA Love Morgan beat uh, Sonya Deville in a new Q match. Gunther beat Rey Mysterio to retain the Intercontinental title. Ellie Knight beat Ricochet, and Shayna Baszler beat Natalya. We came back to the States where Wall was at the uh, Mohegan Sun Arena at KC Plaza in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. Seth Rollins beat Austin Theory, who cashed in his money in the bank contract, to retain the U.S. title. Nikki Cross beat Dana Brooke to win the 24-7 title, and backstage Nikki threw the belt in the trash. The Bloodline beat The New Day and Matt Riddle. Baron Corbin beat Cedric Alexander. Otis beat Elias, and the Miz beat Johnny Gargano. Next entertainment news. On TV on Wednesday, Rick Harrison, his son Corey, and also in Russell, a.k.a. Chumley of Pawn Stars, have a new show called Pawn Stars Do America at 87 Central in History. Other shows on Wednesday, Luke Bryan and Peyton Manning host the 56th Annual CMA Awards at 87 Central on ABC. Chicago Med is on NBC at 87 Central. 
season premiere of Moonshiners is on Discovery at 8, 7 Central. The season premiere of Hard Knocks and Season the Arizona Cardinals is on HBO at 10, 9 Central. And there's also NBA games on ESPN. The first one has the New York Knicks going over to Brooklyn to play, to play the Nets at 7, 30, 6, 30 Central. The next game has the uh, two teams that play in Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles as the Los Angeles Clippers are the home team against the Los Angeles Lakers. That game is at 10, 9 Central. Here's what's on TV on Thursday. It's the season finale, the series finale of Atlanta at 10, 9 Central in FX. Quiz Anatomy is on ABC at 9, 8 Central. Ghost is on CBS at 8, 37, 30 Central. Friends Giving a Friends Marathon is on TBS Friday starting at noon, 11 in the morning, Central Time. Lopez vs. Lopez is on NBC at 8, 7 Central. There's a special on CBS called The Greatest. Hashtag at home, Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving videos at 8, 7 Central. The season premiere of The Dirt is on Discovery at 10, 9 Central. And there's College of Basketball on ESPN as Gonzaga plays Michigan State in the Armed Forces Classic at 6, 35, 30 Central on Saturday. Last Home Rescue is on the Weather Channel at 8, 7 Central. The show where Cody Walker, brother of the late actor Paul Walker and his wife Felicia, through Reach Out Worldwide, help families rebuild, rebuild homes that have been lost because of storms. Killer Case is on uh, A&E at 10, 9 Central. And the season premiere of Yellowstone is on Paramount at 8, 7 Central Sunday. And in the premiere, John Dutton and Kevin Costner has been elected governor of Montana. Other shows on Sunday include a new show called Royal Heroes that's on Epix at 9, 8 Central. The Equalizer is on CBS at 8, 7 Central. The season finale of Anne Rice's interview with a vampire is on AMC at 10, 9 Central. There's an NFL game from Munich, Germany between the Seattle Seahawks and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at 9, 38, 30 Central on NFL Network. A Sunday night game on NBC has the Los Angeles Chargers visiting the San Francisco 49ers at 8, 27, 20 Central. And there's also a figure skating on NBC at 4, 3 Central as the ASU Grand Prix is in Great Britain. On TV on Monday, it's the season premiere of Tug of Words on Game Show Network at 3, 32, 30 Central in the afternoon. Down on 1-1 is on uh, Fox at 8, 7 Central. Taken hostage in American experience. An experience special about the Iranian hostage crisis is on PBS at 9 a.m. Central. Avenue 5 is on HBO at 10, 9 Central. Celebrity IOU is on HDTV at 9 a.m. Central. The Washington Commanders play the Philadelphia Eagles on Monday Night Football on ESPN 8, 15, 7, 15 Central. And there will be a four movies directed by uh, Martin Scorsese, who uh, turns 80 next Thursday. And they include uh, the WW, WW2 drama Ashes and Diamonds from 1958 and Jewels and Jim from 1962. They'll be on uh, TCM starting 8, 7 Central. The series premiere of uh, Customer Wars has two episodes on A&E. The first is at 10, 9 Central, and the second is at 10, 30, 9, 30 Central. Next, we'll look at the birthday page.
Facebook friends with their birthdays are Michelle, Melissa, Samantha, and Greg. Actor Robert David Hall, actor Lou Ferrigno, singer Nick Lachey, actress singer Donna Fargo, actor Jack Scalia, comedian Sinbad, actress Mackenzie Phillips, actress Alan Pompeo, actress singer Miranda Lambert, actress Mackenzie Foy, actress Demi Moore, actress Calista Flockhart, actor Leonardo DiCaprio, actor Ryan Gosling, actress Anne Hathaway, actress Whoopi Goldberg, actor Chris Knopf, actor Gerard Butler, actor Josh Jehamel, singer Patricia Clark, actress Sam Waterston, actress Beverly D'Angelo, and actress Shailene Woodley have birthdays coming up. Friday is Veterans Day, and I want to thank all the veterans out there. I have members of my family who serve. Before I go, I want you to know there's a website for this podcast. It's the dash Chris dash parallel dash show dash one dot on podium dot com. You can also find it on my YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash at Chris Carlisle's channel. Here's a piece of scripture. It's from the uh, 27th Psalm, verse 14. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall for strengthen, strengthen thine heart. And an OMG fact that says, in Chinese, the KFC slogan, finger looking good, comes out as, eat your fingers off, and it's a little interpretation. Please leave a uh, rating and a review. And uh, hit the like button, the uh, download, and follow. Until then, I'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Chris, and thank you for listening to my podcast, The Chris Carlisle Show. The Chris Carlisle Show is available on Spreaker. Please leave a like and a review, and also a follow. It's also available on Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeart, Podchaser, and Podcast Addict. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.